Tastes like a bonus video. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, I told you we'd have two this week, uh, and I uh, I am delivering uh, on the two this week. Harry and I literally just got done playing our game. Uh, I did the quick and dirty showdown edits, and now we're up and ready to roll. So let's run through team builder of the makeup game that should have happened week four but is now technically our fifth game of the year. So we're all squared up now, but uh, let's get into Team Builder. Um, I have got to fix my camera. Um, Kingdra obviously coming this week, does uh, a ton of work against Harry, um, which also means we're bringing Pelipper. You've seen these sets before, Hurricane Scald, U-Turn, Defog, fully defensive Pelipper. Uh, and then, you know, the same Kingdra set that we've run all year with Hurricane instead of Flash Cannon. Just for, uh, to be honest with you, because I wanted it. <laughs> um, just kind of d different coverage, different typing. Uh, Hurricane does a little bit more. So uh, those are obviously the Rain Core coming in. We're bringing a defensive Scizor this week uh, with Technician, Impish Nature, Kind of the full utility defense setup, bullet punch for priority, U-turn for uh, switch initiative, and then knockoff for just the best move in Pokemon. So, um, has a little bit of special bulk in it, but mainly defense bulk. Uh, we're 252 defense, 252 HP, uh, but we can take uh, a special hit if we need to. Um, Next up is Avisa Brown, the Alolan Raichu. We're running Specs, Timid, Nature, Thunderbolt, Surf, Psy Shock, and Volt Switch. Uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed. Um, but Alolan Raichu is pretty good against Harry's team. Um, we are, are fast enough to outspeed most of his things, unless they have Scarfs. Um, and, uh, you know, my Specs hit from this thing is, is going to do a bunch of damage. Uh, we're probably not killing a ton of things in one shot, but um, hopefully we can Volt Switch around and be able to Thunderbolt and Surf things in the rain and be able to get off really good damage. Um, next up we have Talonflame um, here to hopefully hopefully make an impact. Uh, Brave Bird Flare Ritz U-Turn Roost same set jolly nature gale wings with the band if this thing hits hard it hits once and then it dies <laughs> um so that that's our talent flame set and then just like against noah we're bringing some special sauce welcome to season two licky licky <laughs> first time we're bringing licky licky uh this thing is made to wall his latias uh, we have Knockoff, Ice Punch, Shadow Ball, Dragon Tail, all of which are super effective against the Latias. Um, Dragon Tail's there in case it tries to set up. The Shadow Ball actually helps me 1v1 Kafagrigus if it's defensive. Uh, Knockoff's just good, and then Ice Punch is kind of like the best um, coverage move, utility move, whatever you want to call it. We're running Assault Vest and Own Tempo and Sassy Nature, 423 HP. So this thing is thick with a couple of C's um, so that's uh, Licky Licky I'm super excited about this and um, it, it's cool to finally finally bring it finally <laughs> haven't used it all season but uh, there's a, a first time for everything right so Harry is bringing Latias, Gyarados, Comfe, Kafagrigus, Slowbro G and Escavalier oh my gosh I didn't switch the score from the game against Noah. Uh, like I said, we are playing back-to-back -back games here. We lost against Noah yesterday, looking to bounce back today uh, and kind of even out our scores across the board. Uh, and um, let's just get right into it, shall we? 
Um, I figured Talonflame was a pretty safe lead. I, um, like I said, I hit super hard across the board. Um, you know, Escavalier doesn't take a Flare Blitz at all. Uh, and I'm doing anywhere from 50 to 85% on some of the other things, depending on, you know, what they are. He leads with the Slowbro, and I, I waited for quite a bit on this turn. Almost went for U-Turn, just to, to get out into, um... Something like the, the Scizor to take a, a poison move. Uh, but I actually just Brave Bird on turn one. Um, so we get uh, we get a good good amount of damage. This is actually a low roll on an offensive slow bro. So uh, the, the damage range was 58 on the low end to I think like 72 on the high end. Um, so we low rolled the hit there, which is fine. Um, and he uses shell side arm and just oh my god oh, i can't believe we lived Ooh. but we do which is important um so uh, town flame lives on five percent uh we take big big damage and i'm trying to find out what kind of item he is and, and like what uh what what nature he is calculating it out looks like he's offensive maybe is choice i don't really know um but on the off chance that he goes for uh the shell sidearm again i uh decide to switch into scissor he goes for it poison type immunity great we have initiative and uh, we get a big knockoff off on the cofagrigus coming in so um we get the leftovers off and now we're mummified which is not super great. I don't really want to stay in on this thing. I don't want to get the scissor burned for later on. Um, that was a, a big deal in the game against Noah. So I'm looking at my options and I really don't have uh, another physical attacker that um, cares about or could actually get burned. I mean, uh, Talonflame can't get burned and Raichu, Pelper, and Kingdra are all special attackers. So a will wisp doesn't really matter there. But none of them are a really good switch in here. Uh, and I don't want like residual damage on, on one of those. So I, I think to myself, you know, we built Licky Licky kind of to, to deal with this thing. So I just go for a U-turn, get good damage off, 9%, which is great. Uh, and the Licky Licky gets burned, not a big deal. Um, it's not here to do damage, it's here to um, phase out the Latias if it sets up. Uh, but we do have Shadow Ball, so I'm mixed attacking, and that actually doesn't get cut down by the burn. And I'm doing like 32%, which is a two-hit kill on this Cofagrigus, which is great. Um, he goes for Infestation to rack up that residual damage, uh, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I've got so much health and so much bulk that it's, it's still okay. Um, goes for Protect to just get a little bit more damage and then switches out, which is fine. Um, and then the Shadow Ball on the Confe on the switch in does nothing, so I'm, I'm ready to switch out. Um, I, I'm kind of built to wall out this Confe pretty pretty well. Um, I'm going to swap into Scizor, and uh, U-Turn does zero damage, um, and out comes the Gyarados. He goes for Waterfall, and the 33% damage on this waterfall does not tell me what item he is um, I am naturally gonna be slower than this thing so I don't know if it's scarfed yet uh, but I do know it's not life orb and I do know it's not banded it could be a whole bunch of different things um, so I just go for u-turn because I don't really want to um, stay in against this thing and I can get the slow u-turn off uh, and bring in Raichu and threaten this thing out right away uh, he goes into Comfe. I get a Thunderbolt off, which does good damage. Um, I don't really need to stay in, uh, so I can go into Scizor and be able to do things like Roost in front of this thing, um, which I think I do here. Uh, yep, yep, so I Roost, get my health back. Bullet Punch is going to do a ton of damage to it, um, but I just want to go for knockoff, which is great because I, I hit the Kafka Grigus on the switch in. Um, and now it's down to 5% health, so I know a U-turn will kill um, regardless, because before it did 9, and I'm thinking that's probably not a low roll um, to be able to live. So 
I lose my technician, which is is, is a bummer. But again, we're we're just gonna um, we bullet punch just to try, but then we go for the U-turn. We get a crit, but it it, it doesn't matter. The crit didn't matter. We did nine percent the time before. Five percent is is well within the margin. So the crit, unfortunate. I don't want to win with hacks, but um, it, it doesn't matter for this one. Um, and I get to go into Raichu, which I think is kind of like my best option overall. I want to save Kingdra and the Rain for later, just in case. And then we get this thing in. Um, he goes for Calm Mind on my Volt Switch. So we know two things. Number one, it's faster than 350 speed, which is terrifying. Um... Either that or we speed tied. Actually, we speed tied and he won because I did not EV my Raichu to outspeed it. Uh, which is probably an oversight. Let me just double check here. Oh, we did go max speed and we're timid. So it was a design speed tie. Um, it was going to happen regardless. There was no way we could outspeed a max speed Latias. So he wins the speed tie. Our volt switch does 10%. Uh, and we get to go into Licky Licky. And I'm a little scared here. Because um, he's a plus one. And I'm at half health. I'm just going to click play and, and let you watch what happens here. We take those all day. That's a stab psychic from what I assume is a max HP or a max uh, special attack, max speed, timid Latias. And it did 25%. So I'm, I'm, I'm clicking Dragon Tail, obviously. Um, Ice Punch isn't going to do anything because I'm burned. Knockoff is good, but um, I don't want this thing setting up in my face. So I click Dragon Tail. I live the hit. This is exactly what we designed Licky Licky for. And we miss. We miss, and it goes down. Uh, so now it's tied. Five to five. I was so close, so close to having the cool prep pay off. Uh, but the good thing is, Scizor's at max health. I resist both of his stabs. Um, so we should be in a pretty good spot unless he's got Mystical Fire. Um, if he's got a fire type move, I am done for. Uh, however, uh, he's scared of the knockoff, so he switches out, which is great because we knock off leftovers on the Escavalier. Um, and now I'm thinking, okay, it's time for rain. I just got to get this in. Let, let's do this. He was for double edge, uh, max defense Pelipper coming in clutch. Uh, and I'm just going to start firing off moves. I don't need, I don't feel threatened anyway, uh, to where I need to bring in Kingdra for, for rain sweeping just yet. Um, so I'm just going to sit in and, and start chipping away with Pelipper for a little bit. Um, yeah, and we're doing we're doing decent damage, uh, and now I'm kind of at the point where okay, I've got five turns of rain left. Is now the time to pull the trigger? Um, a U turn out, and uh, I actually bring in Raichu because I'm looking at his team. I still don't know if the Gyarados is scarfed or not, uh, and really like rain boosted choice spec surf is gonna hit his team pretty hard. Uh, and like Thunderbolt's just like a good middle ground play across the board. Um, so I, I'm in on the Confe and I actually just Thunderbolt and we get the kill. So now we're up six or five, four, excuse me. And we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Uh, okay, so spoilers. Uh, the Gyarados is Scarfed and uh, Raichu goes down. Um, so he's Scarf Moxie, which is terrifying. Um, 
I did not expect him to be Scarf, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be like Boots or um, something different. I, I did not expect Toy Scarf Gyarados. So now I'm in trouble. Um, the one thing I can do, though, is go into Talonflame because he's choiced into Earthquake. So I actually get a free Roost off with the Talonflame. Um, it's just it's just super free so uh, we get some healing there and I know I can double out and really like a, a base Latias is, is not super scary for me I can go into Scizor threaten the knockoff again take the Draco really really well at, at base special attack um, and he can't stay in at that point um, he could have like stayed in and maybe like calm minded but I'm probably winning long term just with uh um, knock off and U-turn and, and bullet punch. Um, those combinations, I probably am able to, to out, outlast it. Um, then it's it's time to pull the trigger. Um, I decide to get rain up and go into Kingdra. The crit here is really unfortunate. I, to be honest with you, have no idea if it mattered. Um, I'm faster and he's rested. I maybe take a double edge that really hurts. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I didn't calc it. I just said, okay, surf is my best move. I'm going to go for it. Um, I, truth to be honest, I, I don't know if that crit mattered. It probably did. Um, depends on what investment he was. Um, if he was assault vested, which actually we knocked off leftovers, right? Yeah, we knocked off leftovers. So, um, I, I don't think the crit mattered, um, but it is unfortunate, and I don't want to win like that. Uh, but we are up four to three now, uh, and we're in the. Whoops, that's our score. Um, four to three, and and we're kind of in the driver's seat. We've got five turns of rain left. Surf is going to clean up the slow bro um the latias is going to come out draco meteor is going to destroy it uh and now the gyarados comes in and this is still scary it's still a moxie gyarados um and talon flame is just about dead uh pelipper's just about dead kingdra is frail scizor could probably 1v1 it and take it on However, rain is still up, so it's rain boosted waterfalls. Um, so I, I want to get out. I want to. I, I go for the ice beam just just to see. Um, and I'm gonna switch out. Uh, go into waterfall here. Um, I'm just trying to, to stall out as much as I can. Um, oh, I knock off the choice scarf finally. So he, here's the here's the play here. Um, we knock off the Choice Scarf with Scizor so that a Talon Flame can outspeed it when the rain is gone. That was the play there. Um, and honestly, uh, probably the thing that saved me uh, long term, because uh, he didn't get a Moxie boost. Um, and as you see, I'm living on 12%. Uh, so a plus one Gyarados honestly probably just kills the rest of my team if he's... Uh, if he's scarfed and starts getting those moxie boosts. So the knockoff was huge. Um, we knock off the scarf. I'm just going to bullet punch for damage. He goes for waterfall one more time. Uh, and at this point now, it is 3 to 1. But like I said, with no scarf, Talonflame can come in and go Brave Bird and, uh, and pick up the kill. So we get a really good 3-0 victory over Harry, who played really well. Um, brought a really good team and, and you know I don't think misplayed ever um, depending on what that Latias had switching out when he was plus one plus one um, is, is sucks to have to be in that position but I like I said I think Cesar probably um, probably can win that depending on you know what his move set is I haven't looked um, like I said we're getting the video up ASAP right after we played so that it's everything's current but uh, a good 3-0 win for us Kingdra picks up three kills um, <laughs> as I put it on the trade block yesterday so that's kind of funny um, however 
things are things are looking pretty good. Um, we go to four and one. We bounce back after the tough loss to Noah yesterday, uh, and we're plus fourteen in the differential, which is uh, second highest behind Garrett, who picked up a six zero over Caleb this week. Um, and we're in third place in the overall standings. Noah is undefeated. Garrett is four and one, same as us. He's plus sixteen. We're plus fourteen. So we're in we're in really good shape. We have to win our next two games though uh, to lock in playoffs for sure. Uh, we play Ruben this week, uh, and then we end the season against Sean, who uh, is they're both of those guys are scary. Um, they've got good teams that we're gonna have to prep for. Um, but like I said, keep an eye out for roster moves because we have a couple of things on the trade block. We've made offers. We've we've seen an offer. Uh, and um, I've got all four free agents, which is left. So we might be dropping some things and uh, making some changes. Who knows? Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, you know what? Go Flygons.